So just a quick shot of something else I'm doing with the uh, the uh, SDR USB dongle. I have an Orbitron hooked up. Uh, it's a satellite tracking program. What I was able to find, thanks to another kind YouTube vid, is uh, let's see if I can get a better shot here. Uh, a plug-in for SDR Sharp. You'll note down in the bottom corner. We are tracking AO51 satellite. But you'll also note at the top, we have, I just changed before I panned up, we have frequency changing for Doppler effect. So the receive frequency is being tuned by Orbitron via this DDE tracking client plugin. You can find these on the SDR Sharp webpage. And uh, unfortunately, due to my antenna, we're not picking it up. Uh, elevations pretty low this pass is only at about 20 degrees but proof of concept we are able to control SDR sharp via the Orbitron plugin which is down here you click on rotor slash radio pick a driver uh, I'm still not sure whether that's the correct driver it doesn't seem to be able to change the mode but it is doing fine at uh, at adjusting for Doppler. So if we pan out a little bit, you'll be able to see both of them changing. If I had a better camera, we'd be all set. I really need to do a tripod or some screen share. But uh, anyway, uh, just proof of concept. Um, it's going to uh, make things a lot easier if uh, I can allow this to do all the heavy lifting for me. Um, no need to retune frequencies, no need to mess around. Uh, yeah, works works pretty good. I'm not sure whether AO51 is even broadcasting anymore. It shows up in my list. i got to double check. Uh, we're getting some really, really faint noise, but uh, nothing of any substance. So this would be reliant on having the offset just perfect in SDR Sharp, which I do not at this stage. Um, in which case, uh, in the interim, you could just program in a shift and compensate easily. But it should be done in the uh, the configuration, uh, which is no big deal. It's just uh, it seemed to every time I get it dialed in just right, it uh, it isn't just right anymore once the dongle changes temp, which is one of the little evils of this. But I'm willing to deal with it. With uh, now I just need to get an antenna set up uh, for the uh, NOAA satellite so I can decode some. Um, uh, weather images uh, direct from the sats but uh, in the interim I'm gonna play around and see if I can just pick up the FM birds for the amateur radio there's an SO50 or SO51 and I always get the two confused uh, which is later tonight I think in about an hour I'll, uh, I'll try and pick that up maybe I'll add it to this video and uh, we'll see where we land but uh, as of right now I have the two programs communicating, no problem. Took about uh, 10 minutes to set up, thanks to uh, one fine person who put it on YouTube before me. I haven't seen it elsewhere, the link between the two, so I was pretty happy to see how that could work together. And uh, yeah, I'm liking this already. So I've got a little bit of time before the uh, next pass of the Saudi Sat 1C, and I'm going to try and pick it up with the uh, built in antenna. I, I don't have uh, the adapters to hook up to my uh, 2 meter 440 Nagoya antennas and I only have it adapted to the dipole with an alligator clip so it may or may not work but um, quick spin through of the setup on how to do this with one of these dongles it's pretty easy go to the wiki page uh, and you'll see there is a link for several of the managers and uh, what you want is the Doppler correction one, satellite is working, DDE link, W extract, Orbitron, SAT PC32, etc, etc. So you go you go there and uh, it's pretty easy. You download the file, tells you how to edit the config file for SDR Sharp and add this in. And then uh, you can, it, the rest of the instructions are the W extract. Uh, what I did is I went to the Orbitron page and uh, did some digging and I think what I found was one of these DDE tracker readmes. Uh, 
can't remember which one it was. I got too many things. Um, yeah, there it is. Satellite tracker for plug-in for SDR Sharp tells you how to do it and how to do it with the Orbitron. Nothing to it. Added it in, and uh, since the last one, I did a rework, and now I have SDR Sharp listed there, and it is controlling SDR Sharp as shown already. So. Uh, we'll give this a try and see where how we do for Doppler correction. Um, gonna try it. This one, even with this lousy antenna, I should be able to at least see uh, whether I've got to do any shift to the calibration, etc. Um, we'll just see where it lands and what it looks like on the waterfall. I've never tried tuning in one of the amateur sats with this. Uh, I always end up using uh, either my Belfang UB5R or my UB3R, which work really, really good for amateur sats. But um, the idea is get this tuned in, working as I want it, and then I'll hook up an antenna for the NOAA weather sats and start decoding some uh, high-res weather images. And uh, again, just see how far I can push this sub-$20 dongle. Um, new adventure all the time but uh, that should get you set up if you would like to repeat this uh, there's a couple of really good YouTube videos I found them pretty quick but uh, you can see we're tracking the Saudi Sat 1C uh, elevation is negative 42 degrees because it's nowhere near us right now but give it another 20 minutes and uh, should be able to see how this works may or may not work with this lousy antenna but um, proof of concept I'll see if the Doppler correction tracks half decent and uh, um, yeah, hook it up to an aero antenna or something for amateur radio and forget dialing in the frequencies. Just let this do the Doppler correction for you. It should be great. And uh, yeah, give it a try. See where we land. Well, I didn't have a lot of luck with uh, tuning in the Saudi sat on the, uh, on the supplied <laughs> goofy little antenna, but I was able to track it, no problem. Uh, the frequencies that I was getting here uh, adjusted for Doppler were pretty good, uh, pretty close to what I was actually tuning it in on on the UV5R with the Nagoya antenna. Uh, I was able to hear clear QSOs, no problem. I uh, just couldn't get anything going on the uh, SDR. So uh, clearly an antenna problem. Tuning was good. Tuning is still good. I tracked it right down to I couldn't hear it anymore on the UV5R, but. Uh, yeah, I'll get that switched over to a better antenna here shortly. Uh, what I do have coming is a, a patch cable to go right on the SMA antenna for the uh, Nagoya antennas, also uh, uh, various other uh, adapters. So we'll give that a try later, but that's the, uh, that's the basic setup using Orbitron and the uh, SDR Sharp. So far, seems to be working perfectly. Uh, just need to change some hardware and we'll be good to go. Thanks for watching.